let's see how to get a good mesh for the crank geometry. Um, so highlight mesh. First let's look at what the default mesh looks like. So highlight mesh in the tree and click update. Okay, and the default mesh is pretty coarse and it consists of tetrahedrons. Um, if I want to get a slightly finer mesh, I can go in here to relevant center and say um, select medium and click update. Okay, so I get um, a somewhat finer mesh but I do get tetrahedrals. Now this geometry, it uh, turns out, you know, you can mesh with hexahedral elements or boxes which are more efficient than these um, tetrahedral elements. That is, for the same number of nodes, the hex elements uh, will give you higher accuracy. And so to get the hexahedral elements, um, I will use the multi-zone method. So I'll click Mesh Control with Mesh highlighted in the tree and add method. And tell it that, hey, I want to mesh the crank using the method that I'm going to specify. And under Method, click on that field and select multi-zone and update. So ANSYS will update the mesh and you can see that now I have a nice um, hexahedral mesh and if I zoom in here I can get, you know, it's, it's a nice regular mesh. And so what the, the multi-zone method does is it chops up the geometry into regions where uh, one can, you know, fill, fill the regions with boxes. In terms of refining the mesh, um, one could change the relevance center, okay, um, and f between coarse, medium, and fine, I will keep medium um, for now. And I can also change the element size. So let's say I change, I set the element size to 0.2 inches. And if you don't, you know, if your unit is not in inches, make sure that you select units and you're working in US customary with inches. And so let's see, you know, with an element size specified to 0.2 inches, what our mesh looks like. So it answers will update the mesh, and that gave me a, re a much more regular mesh, it turns out. But the element size is about the same. Now, if I go in and reduce this to 0.1 inch, Let's see what that mesh looks like. So you see you get a nice regular mesh. So, you know, through the relevance center, the element size, and also it turns out the relevance, um, if you increase the relevance, it'll give you a finer mesh. And if you decrease the relevance, it'll give you a coarser mesh. So with these settings, you can control the, you know, the, the fineness of your mesh.